I'm told that when animals are wounded, that they hug the ground for a little while until the healing can begin. Um, and I, I believe that's what happens. And it takes a little bit of time where you're hugging the ground before you can even think clearly again, let alone make a decision. Um, I clearly remember the weeks after my husband died as ground-hugging times. I remember wondering if I would ever feel anything again, ever feel anything but heavy again. Um, and then one day I was walking down the sidewalk in front of my house, going through the motions like I had done for I don't know how long, weeks or days, whatever it was. And I felt this little tiny feeling of lightness again. And it didn't last long, but I thought, oh, I'm going to be okay again. I'm going to feel again. I'm going to be through being numb at some point in time. And that gave me hope for the, uh, the, the road ahead. You may not even need very much time at all to hug the ground when things happen to you. Maybe you just need to slow down a little bit. Um, President Uchtdorf said, it's good advice to slow down a little, steady the course, and focus on the essentials when you're experiencing adverse conditions. You can hear that's one of his piloting stories, can't you? <laughs> but it's true. I believe it's true. Instead of speeding up and, and spinning your wheels and thinking you've got to keep going and you've got to stay up around the clock and get something done, to slow down and steady the course.